Welcome to Opinions Like Ales, everybody, your favorite pop culture podcast where we have opinions and most of them stink. My name is Michael Zampino. With me, as always, is Hilton Price. Pretty excited. Uh, tomorrow, I get to see one of my favorite movies growing up in the theater. Again. Yeah. Yeah. The, I, the Goonies. The Goonies was a gigantic part of my childhood as well. Mm-hmm. I know that movie yeah. inside and out. Same, same. Uh, I do remember uh, that it was one of the first times uh, I remember... Uh, like kids cussing in a movie because yeah. like right in the cold open, mm-hmm. yeah. Chunk says sh- drops a shit. Yeah, they that oh, was shit. The idea that those kids were uh, getting away with being bad was kind of one of the the selling points to us as kids. Like you know that oh, was Spielberg always has written kids the way kids talk. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know kids cuss kids. To say they shit, act you know. up, you know. Yeah. They act tough. They act adult. You know, they, that's kind of part of the, the the thing about being a kid. Mac, did you do a lot of cusses when you were little? Oh yeah. Yeah. Did 100%. you start cussing real Big real cusser. early? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I was My parents didn't care, early. and I watched oh. like rated R movies and shit. Okay. My yeah. parents did care if I cussed, but I did kind of get to watch whatever I wanted. Mm-hmm. Well, I say that I wasn't supposed to. Right. But I watched whatever I wanted. <laughs> I just I didn't I didn't like openly like what's the fuck what the fuck's up mom yeah for sure no I wasn't cussing in front of my parents but like <laughs> when they were gone ooh I ooh, was, was dropping them cusses <laughs> my uh, goddaughter she's seven she was like in the back seat and there's this song where if you like tell someone your name they sing the song and they rhyme with it yeah and the name came. Somebody gave her the name Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Bobak, Banana, Fana, Fo, oh, Fuck. And then fuck. so she did fuck. Yeah. And then, mm-hmm. like, we got did home from something. Did she have a panic attack? She no, she was giggly cut. about oh, okay. it. Okay, she was cool with Well, I'm sure at the time she did, but then, like, days later, she's, like, in my car, and she's yeah. like, Aunt Matt, can I, um, can I tell you the word that I said? <laughs> An accident. <laughs> and, of course, I was like, yes. Yeah, you're it. like, hell yeah. 100%. And she, like, revved up, and then she's like, Fuck. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> Man, Never been so proud cusses. of my life. Kid yeah, cusses right? are the best. Aren't they? Absolutely. That's why The Goonies Absolutely. is such an iconic movie. Yeah. I almost didn't marry Morgan because they don't like The Goonies. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, that is pretty tough. That's a tough pill to swallow. I Jill's friendship. That's, that's hard. That's a tough I, pill to swallow. Man, that's too bad. I, re- I really liked them, too. I know, I, right? It is a hard, hard movie to yeah. not like. Yeah. I know, right? Like, what's not to like? Like, I, I see a lot of other, like... Spielberg things that you're like, yeah, I could see a lot of, you know, pointing a lot of the holes in it, whatever. But like, yeah, this one, as far as like just kids going on an adventure searching for treasure, there's not a lot What's wrong not with to that like. movie. Yeah, exactly. It seems pretty cut and dry, like yeah. standard mm-hmm. entertainment. You know, there, there's a few of those 80s films that I feel like just kind of hit on every level and get everything Breakfast right. Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. Uh, never Ending Story, uh, more of a kid's movie. But Have I've, you guys heard the fan theory about the Breakfast Club? Uh, no, uh, that well, maybe it's, that it's all in Ali Sheedy's character's head, and she's in detention alone. <gasps> oh wow! I love that theory so. And that much. would explain why they're able to like smoke weed and fall through the ceiling. And my favorite line from that movie is when Bender goes, "Screws fall out all the time." <laughs> yeah, the world's an imperfect place. The world's an Screws imperfect fall place. out all the time. What can I say? The world's an imperfect place. Yeah, yeah, that's so good. Yeah, he he that he acted the shit out of that role. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, oh, uh, so I was attracted mm-hmm. to every single one of those characters. No, oh, okay. Yeah. If you're ever wondering what my sexuality is, is the way it is. It, yeah, it's just the Breakfast just Club. Just watch the Breakfast yeah. Club. Yeah, I mean, honestly, <laughs> how would you describe your sexuality? The Breakfast Club. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna put that on my Instagram. There you go. <laughs> I love that. that was yeah, the that's another. Uh, that's another one that I can. Uh, I can pretty much watch anytime. There's a few from back then, like Goonies is one. Um, Breakfast Club is one. Uh-huh. Uh, Ferris Bueller. Yeah, I exactly. can watch Ferris Bueller yeah. all day, every day. That's one of my all time favorite movies. Yeah. I like Can't Buy Me Love. Can't Buy Me Love yeah, another great another one. one. Patrick Dempsey, classic. Oh, he's so cute. License to Drive. License to Drive. On weird list. Science. Yeah. Oh, Weird Science for sure. Uh, one time before I uh, had uh, sobered up, yeah. uh, we played a drinking game okay. uh, for License to Drive, yeah. where every time both Corys were on screen together... Not necessarily sharing a scene, but you know, <laughs> but when both were on screen at the same time, you had to take a shot. Wow! Um, how how many shots are there in that in that game? A lot. 
a lot. We all got the shots. We got very drunk and then had to stop playing. <laughs> okay, which that happens. We might have died of alcohol. I do miss poison. a good drinking game. Yeah, I do. I, I'm not gonna lie. I miss a good drinking game based on the uh, talents of Corey and Corey. The Corys. The Corys, as it were. Yeah. He just turned fifty or fifty. Feldman. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I feel so sorry for Corey Feldman. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Ha- Haim's no longer with us, is he? No, Haim is Haim has passed. That's yeah. a shame. That's yeah. the type of shit we feel bad for Corey about. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yep. Cor- I mean, Corey. among among other things. Among other things. Yeah. Cor- poor Corey's been dragged through the mud and back. Oh man. Uh, and 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 the worst part for for Corey Feldman is 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 well, not the worst part. The worst part is what's been done to him. But for but, sure. But a a a dis a a tragic offshoot is it's so skewed his view uh, of so many things. And it's made it hard for him to even find footing to find his place in Hollywood, which you can tell he's just desperate to find. Absolutely. You know, you well, see- and I just I wish that he could do himself the favor of letting go of the um, his entire musical uh, career is a Michael Jackson impersonation. Oh. Yeah. And I, I yeah. Mean, it is like yeah. if you watch the, the dance movements, everything he does is a carbon copy of Michael Jackson. Yeah. And he was obsessed with Michael Jackson back in the day. He dressed like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Like, I, and I, I think that it's super, super holding him back. Also that the music's bad, but... Yeah. The, but, you know, it's if he was kind of free... If he would free himself to play with styles Corey, and genres Corey. a little bit... Find, find your voice, Corey. Corey, do you want to come on the pod? Yeah, yeah Corey. I, let I'd Corey be Corey. Pod. I would do- definitely have him on the pod. In a heartbeat. Especially if he would screen that movie that never got to show. Yes. <gasps> we want to do the movie, and we want to have you on the pod, Corey. Yeah. Call me, Corey. Very interested mm-hmm. in what's yeah. on that film. Corey Price. Yeah. I'm also well, ready no, for... That's uh, not, we haven't made that jump yet. <laughs> Apparently, the only reason we haven't seen that documentary um, with all the Roger Stone footage mm-hmm. uh, is because that guy still doesn't have a distributor. How the fuck wow. are distributors not realizing how much money there is to be had in that documentary? Yeah, for real. I don't understand it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be able to watch that soon, too. Uh, I believe it's called uh, uh, a, storm, a Storm Cometh. A storm yeah. cometh. Right? Something like that? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, I'll write a letter. Yeah, we'll please write, write a letter to your congressman. Mm-hmm. To some some distributor. Maybe, they don't Maybe not our congressmen. They don't they wouldn't want uh-huh. it released. Um write a letter to any uh any, distributor that's willing to meet the SAG after demands. Yes. Yeah. Walmart. Yeah. They are definitely not meeting anybody's union demands. No, Walmart <laughs> are the worst. Ugh. Super oh, anti union. I, I don't fucking know shit, y'all. <laughs> the, the I just like Walmart. The Walton family sucks unless they want to advertise on the show, which case will Walton take their money. Family. Oh no, I'll definitely do the ad, but then tell you on the show part how much oh, they yeah. suck because yeah. you know the views expressed do not necessarily represent the views of exactly. uh, the network or our sponsors exactly exactly which is why <laughs> we're still proud to bring you ola ad free week after week <laughs> i mean considering the fact that we are the network it's hard to say that our opinions don't reflect the opinions of the network <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> Darn it. Am I my own boss? And look what I've done. Look at what I've done. This sucks. Darn. <laughs> I need someone to complain to. Oh, man. <laughs> gonna have to see me in my office later. I'm gonna have to see me in my office. It's just oh, your like bed. That. That's what you say yeah, when you jack off. Huh? <laughs> That's it is, it is. I'm gonna need to see me in my office. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start doing that. It's not yeah, gonna get out like my a, head now. It's kinda like a, I gotta see a man about a horse. I'm, I never yeah. move. Do you move to masturbate? I've, I've never I've never moved. I, also well, I mean sometimes you have to when there's like other people around. Am I hearing you right? I don't think it's pronounced see me. I think it's something else. See men. That's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's what right. it is. <laughs> yeah. We watched uh, a couple trailers. We did. Uh, uh, oddly, uh, more scary stuff than is I this expected. On autoplay? Is this, this is on autoplay. Okay, okay. And it is playing video hits of yesterday. Yesteryear. Uh, yesteryear. Because we watched uh, a little bit of La Isla Bonita before, uh-huh. the, before the recording. Isla. Bonita. And, then it, and then it jumped to uh, The Bad Touch by yes, Bloodhound Blood Gang. Hound Gang. Which a lot of people, that is that is a two degrees of Kevin Bacon right there. Uh-huh. Is Madonna 100%. to The Bloodhound Gang. Because a lot of people don't know that Madonna was actually in The Bloodhound Gang. Mm-hmm. Uh, Background dancer. That's her right there. Yep, that's her. <laughs> that's her in the early years. Okay, what <laughs> movies did we watch? Uh, okay, we started out... With Reptile. Reptile, which looks fucking good. 
Yeah, that it was, was a good trailer. That was my. It, it said Benicio del Toro, who I assumed everyone was very, very, very familiar with, and Justin Timberlake. So I, I thought that would be a good trailer. Mm-hmm. So Justin Limbersnake. Justin Limbersnake. We don't know. And then I was sorry. Go. I was just going to say. I, I just recently was thinking that we haven't had a good, like, of, of that type of a murder movie. Like we've had a few of like the classic like murder mystery like the Knives Out, Murder in the Orient Express, yeah. those kind of recreation of that type. But we haven't had like a seven type in a while. I, yeah, and you I, know, I thought this this almost was kind of one of those Knives Out, Glass Onion kind of movies. Mm-hmm. But then it, it seemed to be getting, taking a darker turn. No, I think you thought that the next one was going to be one of those. No, I, you the, thought both of them were no Reptile. Oh, reptile. you thought Reptile oh, was going to be about that too? The yeah, time. yeah. Okay, uh, I, I didn't see that. <laughs> but yeah, it looks it looks like a nice, dark yeah. murder mystery. Like, yeah, it's... It, and then we found out that I've not seen one Benicio Del Toro movie. <laughs> no, you've yeah. been dodging those like puddles on a rainy They're day. Just, I guess he's just in like, like, bleh, like I don't know, like mask, like, ah, uh, movies. Yeah. <laughs> I just made sounds. Not like good feminine energy movies. <laughs> yeah, I'm like I like happy go lucky movies. Yeah, but he's I think in a lot I'll of movies with guns. Yeah, he is yeah. in a lot of movies with guns. I don't like, and I seriously like. I, we were watching a movie. What were we watching? Hotel Mumbai the other day. Okay, we had to turn it off because it's just all about guns. And I, with everything going on, I was just yeah. like, it's just crazy. Like I can't even watch movies now. But <laughs> walk around talking about guns like I ain't got none because yeah. I did sell them all. You did? No, I never you had any. No, I didn't have any. Which <laughs> never had. Michael Zampino. You can get he had like two gun dozen and fucking th- guns. Yeah, he, gun enthusiasts. He a lot of people don't know about Mike's survivalist past, where he was... Um, I was a doomsday prepper for yeah. about eight months. The bomb shelter below this place is And intense. in eight months, I did buy and 487 t- guns. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and uh, 487 cases of bottles of water. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, and 487 and packs bottles of, beer of on protein the wall. shake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I get what you're saying, Zamp, about like not having like a seven type movie. Yeah, yeah. It feels we like there hasn't those. been that and type I'm, of one in a while. And yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the hugest fan of like I like Clue from the fucking eighties. Sure. Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. But a lot of I just feel like it's been overdone at this point. I get kind of bored in those movies. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't want to say too much, but the problem with a mystery is you know going in that the guy telling you the story knows the answer and that this whole thing is meant to be a ruse before you get to the answer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if it's not done captivatingly enough, you feel like you're just being jerked around for an yeah. hour and a half. You know? Yeah, I don't want to. Yeah, exactly. I don't want to feel like I'm uh, like, don't get me wrong. The Knives Out movies are super fun. Yes. But it, I don't enjoy them the same way I would enjoy like a seven because oh. it, it's not. It's a little bit more of there. It's a little bit more, even though there's still murder. Mm-hmm. It seems a little bit more fun and jaunty and lighthearted. It's the it's, in that you're just you're looking for the clues. You're trying to see if you can figure out the puzzle. Yeah. Whereas like this movie looks a lot more like ominous thriller. Um, more like keep you on the edge of your seat. Might have a jump scare or two. Mm-hmm. And then there's had also comedy. the I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah. And you're talking about Reptile? Yeah, for, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, for Re- sure. Reptile didn't seem like it had comedy. Which no. We, which was when, when I finally was like, okay, no, this doesn't seem like a, right. uh, Ryan Johnson is right. his name. Uh, but uh, the... But his movies, like Knives Out, there, there's a murder, there's mystery, there's, you mm-hmm. know, you know, lives are on the line. But it's very playful. It's funny. There's yeah. funny moments, you know, in, mm-hmm. in uh, I've only seen Knives Out, but um, uh, uh, what's her name? The lead has that condition where she vomits when she lies, you know, and it's played for laughs. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, well, and, uh, uh, Daniel Craig's character oh, is the, the accent oh, comical. Yeah. Yeah. Which was a pleasant surprise. I was like, I don't remember Daniel Craig ever being this like, I mean, he's basically funny. doing like a foghorn leghorn almost. And then, mm-hmm. but playing it. Straight, well, I say, I'm, I'm you know, famous mm-hmm. British actor, Daniel Craig. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's me, James Bond, here to <laughs> solve the mystery. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just leaning into the absurdity of it. For it's, real. It's, For it's, real. And it kind of makes it 
sell even harder for me. Like I, I really liked it. Like I, no. I haven't watched Glass Onion yet, only because I don't want there to be no more of these to watch. There's gonna that's be what, so much more. I was right. gonna say that's why I felt it was important to say that I don't enjoy it the same way and yeah. not say I don't enjoy it as much. Because you do like it. Exactly. I love yeah. Knives Out. That was super fun. I saw both of them, the Glass Onion as well. Yeah. Um but I I do enjoy this type of movie like Reptile just in a different uh, you know obviously in a different type of way, um, and I, I don't know I, I might say that I enjoy that type of thriller like more than I would like a Knives Out movie. But yeah. the Knives Out movies are very fun. Well, uh, but also think about it, uh, you know, and you're a a true crime fan. You I am. you enjoy you really enjoy the gritty details of murder. Whereas to me, man, I too. I need I need I, need, <laughs> I want to say Zamp enjoys them. It's fascinating. He, he enjoys. Uh, no, I, he, I, enjo- I do, he likes I do. murder. Oh, okay. Yeah, he really he wants. I really he craves I murder. Crave. <laughs> No, I, I'm very, I, I do enjoy it from a very analytical standpoint. Uh, right. A lot of like, uh, how did we get here? Mm-hmm. You know, why why did this person become that way? Um, th- right. That part fascinates me more than the act mm-hmm. of, yeah. of the murder itself. Yeah. You know, which is why I find people like BTK so fucking fascinating. You know, someone who has such a normal life for so long and managed to murder 11 people. Right. That's fucking, how does that happen? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. But yeah, uh, we also watched something that I thought was going to be a little bit more like a glass onion knives out situation, which was, uh, well, initially when you said it was like an Agatha Christie, uh, you know, murder on the Orient Express mm-hmm. type, that made me think it was going to be a little bit more along those lines. Sure. But haunting in Venice seems much more along the lines of you take the main character from that and put it in a spooky movie. <laughs> Yeah, about g- 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 ghosts. And, yeah, and but I, I have a feeling it's going to have a Scooby Doo aspect where it's a human the whole time and there's no ghosts. I feel like there has to be. I don't feel like Hercule Poirot actually did anything supernatural. Yeah, right. That's why I think it's a Scooby Doo sitch. <laughs> yeah, and it, I think it will have a knives out. It, it's going to have a knives out feel. Yeah, they're. I just, think they will pull a mask off of somebody's head and reveal that it was like because the, that. Well, that's the bit. <laughs> I feel like they fucking might. Yeah, like, oh, it was the it was the the uh, curmudgeon old uh, operator of the theme park right. the whole time. And they yeah. did the right. They made the right call. I love. For a long time, I kind of thought I wanted to be a casting director. Okay, because I just feel like it's such a beautiful it's art an, form absolutely. to be able to put together like a cast of people. Like whoever did the casting on this movie. Could I want to have sex with them because <laughs> yeah uh, they did, they made the right move with Tina Fey yeah like, for sure and she's gonna set the vibe like yeah I I'm glad to see her in this uh, it's nice to see her in more roles that kind of step outside of a her comfort zone yeah and and a modern setting which mm-hmm. I see her in a lot uh, the other big surprise for me was Michelle Yeoh I, yep. I really really loved her in the the first season of Star Trek Discovery of course everything everywhere all at once so, that was so, so good yeah it's so, that, that was a that was a movie that really lived up to the hype for me yeah you know uh, a lot of times a movie like that can get overhyped and then when you finally see it it doesn't live up to how you thought it was but like every person that was like no it's amazing it's amazing it actually lived up to that yeah yeah so that was a really super it was super mm-hmm. yeah it was super satisfying but it was really that good can't recommend it enough if you haven't seen it yet <clears throat> go watch it do so uh jamie dornan uh from the um uh, wasn't he the guy from the the guy uh, from the thing. The guy from the thing, exactly. And then uh, I, I don't actually recommend recognize many other names on this. Kelly, list. Kelly Riley. Kelly Riley. Kelly Riley. Sure. Well, she's in something. I can't. Well, good for her. I'm <laughs> <laughs> glad to. Hear. Let's go Congratulations, down. Congratulations, Kelly. Show me what you got. Show me what um, you got, Kelly. Yellowstone. Okay. Okay. Oh, yep. She's Yellowstone. True Detective. That's where I know oh, her yeah, from. True Detective. Okay. okay. She's a baddie. Yeah, she's a baddie. She's a baddie with a... Oh, baddie yeah. Kelly. Baddie with Kelly a fatty? Riley. A baddie with a fatty. And oh. the fatty means she's talented. Yeah. <laughs> baddie with a fatty because she got much back. Yeah. Baddie with a fatty. 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 Talent back. Oh. DJ Khaled. I don't know. Another one. Another. I fucking hate DJ Khaled so much. I know he's a dead. He's such a douchebag. Wasn't there? Did you ever see him on? Uh, he he did. A, do you watch Hot Ones? 
No. Do you ever watch Hot Ones? I, I mean, I do. I, yeah. I watched a lot of Hot Ones. Uh, yeah. uh, he was one of the first. He Who are we talking about again? DJ Khaled. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. He uh, bitched out very early and would not eat any more wings. And I was. <laughs> I, and you know what's funny is I was like, that's the exact type of motherfucker I thought he was. Yeah. Dude, I was like, you can still interview me, dog, but I'm not doing this. You stupid douchebag. Fuck douche you, D- Fuck you, know you DJ. Right here, right Khaled. now on Opinions Like Assholes yeah. fucking podcast. Yeah. I'm going to say it. Yep. Call him out. Fuck you, DJ Khaled. Fuck you, DJ Khaled. We the Khaled. worst music. We the, the worst. worst music. <laughs> the, um, Putting that in every sorry, song. Sorry, DJ. Just like, go take a bath or something. Head. I've been watching <laughs> Hot Ones. Uh, that's that's a standard dinner dinner TV around the house. Yeah, it's we'll, great. We'll Interesting. Okay. It's and a good show. I watched so many episodes, and I have seen uh, people from all walks of life, from all corners of, these, uh, of, of Hollywood, and you know what I have not seen yet? What? Anyone not fit? Anyone quit? Anyone? Yeah, it's quit. only happened a couple times. Yeah, uh, he did it after like the third or fourth one. And every one of them, even after the bomb, they still go mm-hmm. through the the rest. And, the and, bomb beyond insanity. And, and it <laughs> seems like that is just the worst thing ever. Um, yeah, I don't know that I would see. Here's my thing: if I don't do, I like spicy food, but yeah. I like the lowest level of spice. Okay, I don't handle super mm-hmm. duper ridiculous hot at all. So for me, I'd be like, God, I would love this media opportunity, but I'm going to have to pass because I don't want to make an ass out of myself when I inevitably quit because it's too goddamn hot. You know, uh, I, and I've seen some of them that really made ass. Gordon Ramsay makes an ass of himself. Uh, Shaq does not do well. <laughs> uh, you know who is a stone cold rock is uh, who's who's Wednesday Adams? Oh, yeah. Jenny Ortega. God damn, she didn't really blink an eye. Oh, she did so well. I love that you're an expert on hot ones. Oh, same. I watched a lot. I watched the heck out of it. I watched a lot. Paul Rudd's episode is one of the best. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's one of the best ones. Please come here now. His his episode of Hot Ones has become like a meme uh, with uh, uh, (laughs) the hey, look at us. Yeah. Like that became a whole thing for a while. Oh, okay. Hey, look cool. at us. Uh-huh. My best friend and I, that's all we do from Wanderlust when he's in the mirror. He improvised with that mon- whole scene. Mon- oh, yeah, he did. Yeah. You could tell. He's like, are you ready? I'm fixing I'm to put some up the again. He's have you seen that movie? No. So the the scene <laughs> to set it up for you, the scene is he and his wife find this like hippie commune and they end up staying. Okay. And after a while it's Pitch to them to swing. Okay. And he's in the mirror trying to psych himself up to fuck this other woman. And so he's like trying to say what he's going to say to her. He's like, I'm going to give you that big old damn. <laughs> Are you ready for my Are you ready? erection selection? <laughs> Are you ready for this erection selection? And just, it's just all Paul wow. Rudd being Paul Rudd. And it's so fucking funny. Yeah. And he's like, my, my, look it my, up. Do, Can we my, look it up right now? Deal. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, just look up Wanderlust. Do we want to talk about Slaughterhouse uh, first, and then we? Can, no, no, we can come back. We'll this ride is how this, this show goes. Yeah, this is how this show goes. He looks uh, so good. Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't age, and it's really frustrating. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you look maybe good look. Uh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> this one here. Okay. I, I will. I, I'm not to say I'm not aging poorly. Yeah. Okay. I or not to say that okay, I, am, I wasn't sure if that's that what the situation was. Just want to make sure you knew you were loved. Oh no, I would actually. I'll take the way I look now over twenty years ago for sure, any day of the week. Ah, uh, sorry, brother. That's okay. You gotta have a, a a little intro. Hilton, I'm so excited for you to watch this. This really is just great improvisational comedy. Oh God, this was your idea, George. It's a good idea, right? It's a good idea. Monogamy is sexual slavery. She got an exquisite pussy. Well, how about my exquisite erection, huh? <laughs> Eva, what do you think? You like my exquisite exquisite erection? Hmm? Do you like my erection selection? What do you think, Eva? Yeah? You gonna take it? You gonna take that dip? You gonna take that dick, huh? I'm gonna pop off a piece of my dick. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm fixin's to fuck you. I'm fuck you. Mm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get it all up in your vag. Get it up in your vag with my dick. With my dick. Gonna put it in. You know the crew is dying behind him this whole time. I'm gonna put my dick in. I'm gonna put my dick in. What's up, man? You alright? What's up? 
That was like a Lindsey Graham impression. And then fucking Catherine Hahn comes in at the end because, okay, can I talk you through the rest of what happens? Please do. Like, he goes into Eva and he, like, doesn't, he winds up not being able to go through with it because he keeps being weird. And he says something like, I'm going to put my own ads up. Anyways. Wow. So then Catherine Hahn comes in because she's part of this commune and she's open already. Yeah. And she wants to fuck Paul Rudd. And she's like, I'm fixing to put my vagals up on your (laughs) dad. And it's a oh fuck! Everyone watch yeah. Wonderless, please. Yeah, it's it's a, it's a really underrated movie. It's that really good. Absolutely, have it on DVD. It's so so funny. God. Okay. Well, our, I I don't know where did to go from there. Did we sell you on it? <laughs> no, no, no. You did not. I. Uh, Aww. No, oh, I mean, is that no. Not we, funny. No, I'm glad. I, no, I'm glad I watched it, but I will oh. not watch the rest. No, I don't. Fine. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, what no, a bummer. No, I know. I'm, it's. I mean. Should we go? Yeah. I think we <laughs> hey, Matt, can I talk to you over here for can a second? I talk to you outside? Dalton's really being a shit. Here right now. <laughs> I just get kicked off my own podcast. <laughs> uh, well, no, we did watch another trailer, though. Yeah, that's the that's the only thing yeah. that can really save me from the black hole that I'm falling into now is a deadly sloth. Oh my god! So we have a stuffed sloth up at the shop. Okay, uh, that looks almost identical to this sloth. To it's the slaughterhouse. Yes. Um, oh, it looks kind of a little silly. Oh god, it's so cute. It's a. It's fucking adorable. We put a little fake mustache on it. Oh well, and sure. It, and it made it. It made it immediately look like if Albert Einstein were a sloth. It's the fucking best. Oh, I love that. It's the best. I need to take a picture and put it on a, uh, put it up on our Insta or something. It's it's so so cute. Mm-hmm. Um, but now I'm scared it will murder me. Murder. No, not really. This looks like a lot of fun. This definitely looks like um, it's definitely supposed to be funny. Yeah. This is definitely supposed to be playing off of the campiness. Uh, like, I mean, they Sloths have really had like a come up and. Oh, they, come, they really have. They've came up in the past. Like, Kristen few Bell, years. I think, was. Uh, She's she, the queen of the sloths. She was the one. Her obsession with sloths uh, is the first mm-hmm. time I remember people then becoming obsessed with sloths. Right. Or maybe everybody was already a- obsessed with sloths and they were embarrassed to say it. And then Kristen Bell was like, made them feel accepted. Right. In their love They're of like, sloths. Oh, have you all seen the sloth at the fucking Tulsa Zoo? Uh huh. It's so sweet. I know. Have you no, seen the sloth? I haven't been to the zoo in forever. Oh, you gotta go. We yeah, got a membership. Been a long time. We gotta get you a goddaughter so that you can fucking. I don't Did know. you say a hot daughter? No, no a goddaughter. No, yeah. Oh, goddaughter. <laughs> Still no. Yeah. I really thought you said you, you gotta get yourself a hot daughter, nephews? and I was like, no, no, I, I don't have much family, thank God. Well, it's we can go as friends. Perfect. Love friends. That's the best. You wanna go platonically to the zoo with I, me? I would. I would. Plat- <laughs> a platonic. Yeah. I'm just not looking for a I zoo just, relationship like, right <laughs> now. I'm trying to be. Zo- I'm gonna start a thing called. Hilton, the, we're only gonna be friends. I'm gonna start a thing called the Platonic Zoo. The Platonic Zoo, yeah. It's like a petting zoo, but it's really just where friends go to the zoo together. Yeah, it's just the zoo. Yeah. Okay, but it's, um, the zoo is great. Slaughterhouse. Is. They make a joke about the name of it in the trailer. Yeah, that's a new one for me. Like, I wish they had done that in other movies. Where a guy says. It's a real slaughter house, and the rest of the people go, oh, Aww. come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's really funny, like, playing There's on a, how dumb no, that well, is. Well, I'm thinking of the best moment in Hot Tub Time Machine whenever, I think it's Craig Robinson looks at the camera, and he goes, it's some sort of hot tub time machine. <laughs> and anyways. Yeah. That's it would have been really great if somebody would then would have been like, that's so stupid. <laughs> it, that might have happened. It might have. Yeah, I don't yeah. remember. Have you all ever seen the movie? I'm getting so sidetracked. Is that all right? That's, that's what, what we, we do. do. Okay, cool. Um, have you all ever seen the movie Sex Drive? E- wow, no. yeah. that was uh, the, That's I, what John Cameron Mitchell movie, isn't it? John Cameron Mitchell. I don't believe he's no, in that or movie. Maybe that's Sex Party. I don't know. Sex, Sex Drive. Drive. It starts with the, he's, he's a donut. He's a mascot and he's a donut. Okay. Okay, and mm-hmm. he's a virgin, and he goes on this like road trip uh, to get to get laid by yeah. like an internet lady, right? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, if y'all haven't seen it, you have to see it. It's one of the I funniest. I'm pretty movies. sure I've seen it. Oh, okay. No, Fallout Boy shows up. Well, as they do. And Seth Green's in it. I have a yep. huge heart on as for a, Seth as a like a uh, wow, okay. an Amish man. Yeah, I have seen it. I have seen it. Oh. Have you seen it, Hilton? Clark Duke's in it. No, yeah. I haven't. Oh my I god! I love me some Clark. Duke. Idol of the show, James Marsden is in it. Ooh. 
Oklahoma zone. Wait, he's in Oklahoma. He's from Oklahoma. Oh, the yeah. pride of Stillwater. Oh, I love uh-huh. that. Yeah. He's from Stillwater. So yep. is All American Rejects. Uh huh. We love our James Marsden here on Opinions <laughs> Like A Holes. Gosh, we we come out. We fucking churn out some handsome. Look at this cast. Katrina Bowden from Thirty Rock. Hell yeah. I mean, I'm sure a lot of them got like this was like their big break. Yo, <laughs> listen, I just spotted with I spy with my little eye. Yeah. What the Greek would call molletus terrificus. But wait, what? Look at Dave Sheridan's wow, look mullet. At that hair. Wow. Dave. That is an epic Dave. mullet. Dave Sheridan's mullet. Holy shit. It's beautiful. When was that picture taken? Wow. I, I hope it was 2015. That's amazing. I know I know that face. He's been in a lot of stuff. Right? You can see the oh. But you can that's oh, yeah. okay. So for the for the listener, this is the Picture the bangs, the poofed bangs of the the eighties and early nineties. Um, lots of bangs, and then just straight long locks in the back. There's that, a little wave to it. A, li- a slight natural yeah, wave. Yeah, because he's like he's like gotten off. He's like sweating from it's dancing. Not, it's not yeah. quite like a permed out waterfall mullet, Mm-mm. but it's, no, no, it's its own thing. It falls down. Yeah. What has he been up to? If Dave it were Sheridan? blonde, it wow, would be a Camaro like mullet. Dave's busy. Yeah, that guy's been in a lot of shit. Man. <laughs> I knew I recognized his face. But he doesn't sport that mullet and everything, I'll tell you yeah, that Yeah, there's much. nothing like somebody <laughs> not rocking a mullet, like, fucking pissing me off. I'm not going to lie. I did get mad when mullets, like, came back, ironically. But now you're okay with yeah. it, right? Yeah. No, I still kind of hate it. Oh, well, because I remember having that feeling, too. I was like, mm. what the fuck is happening? Yeah, what are you guys doing? But now... We make fun of this for a reason, because it looks bad. But it's super <laughs> sweet. Like, when you go to, like, a... High, well, like, I go... I went to, like, a high school football game last year, and, like, you see all, like, the young kids with mm-hmm. their mullets. I'm like, this is actually fucking super cool. <laughs> in a way. Yeah, and then like, you're in like... in a sweet way. Yeah, There's know. camaraderie in the mullet. Maybe. Oh, it's like Maybe a, it's more the people that people tend to find choose to sport the, the mullet. mullet. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It, it, the, the, some of them the, are not great. On paper, some of them. Are me great. and them have not a lot in common. No. no my no. brother-in-law had a pretty <laughs> amazing mullet at my at our wedding. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I don't remember. That's and cool. And my uh, spouse took their brothers to go get their haircuts before the wedding. And Cute. It was super sweet. Yeah. And, Did they all get um, mullets? Get their mullets. The people out? at Tonsorial like made that mullet look like wedding ready. That's no, where I used to go. Tutorial mm-hmm. used to go. Yeah, yeah, but the 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 girl that cuts my hair moved to a different spot, and I followed oh, her. You had to. So yeah. n- n- oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I followed her to the new spot. Oh, okay. I thought maybe you know, did if it, it ain't broke. Now. No, yeah, no. You don't know. No, like, like a floby. Yes. I am far too vain. <laughs> 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 I go every four weeks like clockwork. Really? Yep. Oh, that, that explains why I've never seen you with uh, too long hair. Exactly. You, you never, <laughs> never let it go that long. Wow, that's wild. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Too vain. <laughs> This, uh, this feels long for me today. I, I threw on the hat because the hair Because you were like, uh, it's been too long since yeah. you shaved. Yeah, Hilton, how do you maintenance? Like, do you have to do it? I, I do. Yeah, I do it. Uh, do you I, have I, like one of those fancy ones that like go like. Oh, yeah. Do you use the electric or do you. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, no. Straight razor. Straight razor. Not straight razor. Yeah, but, no, uh, safety oh, razor. Oh, that's yeah. hot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, fancy. Yeah, yeah I do. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, for full disclosure, I'm the Dollar Shave Club guy. <gasps> I, 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 I that's get a, perfect. I get my blade shipped to me every month. It's uh, I also use their uh, their shave butter brand uh, shave lotion, which is incredible. When I go to one of the things that I love the best about uh, the girl that cuts my hair is when yeah. uh, when she when she does the the back of the neck. Yeah, oh. she actually does it with a straight razor, nice. but she has a shaving cream warming thing oh and so when she puts it on the on the back of my neck it's warm and it feels so fucking good i'm like i want that for my face that's cool. like i want to use that every time i shave my face yeah you know you can so, get those me... like a uh, hot warm of oh, hot warm <laughs> uh, hot towel warmer yeah oh it wasn't a towel it was the shaving cream it was like a little thing that when she put out the shaving cream it came out really warm oh yeah, so oh, yeah. like the shaving cream that she put on my neck was really Ooh, warm, is, nice. is really warm. It's so nice. It feels so good. I want to do a short haircut just so I can have a feeling. <laughs> just have someone uh, clean up the back of your neck. You can pull up your hair and do that. You heard? I heard. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, this has been uh, hair talk. <laughs> hair talk. I've been able to be a part of this more than I would have guessed, and I want yeah, to say sure, thank you. Sure. Thank you both for that. Oh, your I hair did. You know what's funny is I saw an, uh, yeah. I saw the ad for the like the the head shaver that's like specifically for bald men. Have you seen that guy? It's like uh, Hilton. Have you seen that? 
I don't think so. So it's like a, a thing that like kind of slides right here, and it's curved to like. Oh yeah, just no, I do have. Your head. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. It looks cool, but I it probably I, doesn't work as well as it. As says. someone with with the head has more contours. Mm-hmm. It's bumpy. You know? it's yeah. bumpy. Yeah, hence the uh, the 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 latent art of phrenology. Uh, mm-hmm. Or uh, you know the where you can measure the uh, size and shape of uh, Walt's asshole. Excuse me, the bumps on your head. That's right. Uh, so <laughs> the um, remember in the eighties how that was like those little uh, head models with that was in like so many movies and TV shows. Yeah, where mm-hmm. it was like a it was like a globe, but it was a head. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was I wasn't it? around no, yet. Uh, yeah, the eighties they made a bunch of useless crap that was weird shapes I love and the colors. 80s so in much. The 80s. Yeah, it was. Well, they also did a lot of things that like there was a lot of tropes that they would use in a lot of things that just weren't in real life like yeah. a thing you know what i mean like like how, uh, how often you would see quicksand back in the day like mm-hmm. you know <coughs> was the- that was that really like a, a big fucking yeah deal like people were always having to avoid quicksand or well and, and, and i mean princess bride well, never, that was never 89, seen, actually. Never seen quicksand in my life. Yeah, I've, but also I've, you know, only been in the U.S. and, like, the very touristy parts of Mexico. So every western, Every Western ever had had quicksand in it. Yeah, but they So paved, it is native to the United States. They paved over it, though. I'm going to laugh if today... They paved par- paradise and put up a parking lot. They did. They did. Edie Burkell was right. Bop, bop, bop. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. laugh so hard if all three of us <laughs> encounter some quicksand today. There's a- Honestly, I would be fucking stoked. <laughs> I'd be so happy. <laughs> if someone had to save me from quicksand, yeah. that'd, right. be, that'd yeah. be rad. What if they threw you a rope, but the rope turned out to be a large snake? Oh, that would be a bummer. <laughs> yeah. That would be a bummer because snakes are not, they're spooky. They're scary. They're scary. If they can bite you. Yeah. Snakes? I want a fucking fucking white ball python so bad. Wow, really? Yes, because yeah, that sounds I want to be Britney Spears. Scary. I want an albino oh, python. Oh, okay. You want to like dance with it? Mm-hmm. And like like okay. Ever since I Did saw you guys do- see the video of the faith healer that got that got murdered by the snake? He no. got bit by the snake. That's, oh, that's terrible. That's that is the is Lord's it? that is the Lord working in mysterious ways though. Like I wanted to say this about shaving heads before yeah. like, we move. He was on. like, God will sure. save me, and God was like, I'm good. No, 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 I won't. No, God did not save you. The snake murdered you. <laughs> uh, what were you going to say? Oh, the first ever bonding moment I had with my grandfather-in-law was when he nicked his head, shaving his head. Aww. And I had to put a band-aid on it. He like That's came out. adorable. I know. It was, it was so gross, though. Yeah, but just a little little kid putting He's the band-aid gross, on like, Papa's head. Yeah. What did you call him? Um, did you just call him Grandpa? Yeah, it's just Granddad. I, I called my Grandma Grandma. Uh, but I called my grandfather Papa. Yeah, I called my grandpa Pops. He's my pops. papa. Yeah, Pops. I call my dad Pops sometimes. So whenever I say oh, Pops, yeah. whenever I say my Pops died, everybody thinks my dad's dead too. And I'm like, <laughs> no, yeah. he's my grandpa. Yeah, yeah. No, I call I, my dad Pops. I sometimes. had a Pop as well. Yeah. Yeah. That's so my, like my grandpa was thing, Papa. I think so. Yeah. yeah. Papa. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and I never called my mom Mama. No. I was a big mom. I was just, she was just mom. Mm. My mom chose to go by Nona. Yeah. Which is grandma in Italian. Oh, I love that. Mm. Yeah, it's a good one. Nona's Wait, your good. mom's went by Nona? Mm-hmm. Well, that's what Eleanor calls her. She, oh. <laughs> not you. Yeah. You don't have yeah. to. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Although okay. I guess you end up secondhand because you have to be like, like Eleanor, do you want to go see Nona today? Oh, yeah. No, I, stuff I, like that. Yeah, I definitely refer to her as Nona a lot. Yeah. So. Yeah, because she's going to Nona's house tonight. Yeah, I'll see. So that we can go see a uh, friend of the show, Written Quincy's art exhibit. Yeah. You yeah. went last uh, night. I did. I had a chance to stop in last night. Uh, Written, we told you last week, is ha- uh, holding his first art exhibit at the Center for Public Secrets near 6th and Peoria in Midtown Tulsa. It has already happened, as you're hearing this, <gasps> well, unfortunately. Are we coming out on Sunday or Monday? <clears throat> Sunday. I think there might be. Is it not just, tonight? It's just tonight. Oh, they and, missed it. And Friday. Yeah, Friday and Saturday. Oh, that's so Well, go follow his Instagram. Yeah, and- I know that because i made the videos for him, the video and poster for him. oh nice nice. Yeah. nice the uh it's been a uh it was a very cool exhibit uh h- gorgeous work uh you know as someone i'm who excited to see it i'd had a chance to share the stage with him and know him through his poetry and through his music and and this was just neat to see this other avenue of his creativity and it was it was a delight so nice if uh if he does something in the future i highly recommend you folks listen and check it out yeah follow him on uh, insta and all that stuff uh-huh yeah you know, I, I for sure 
I have seen that Center for Public Secrets, and uh-huh. I thought it was not a business anymore. I just oh. had never... Yeah, not still to there. Diss that place at yeah, all. Yeah, for sure. No, I just didn't know what it was. I was just curious, and just, so now I it's know. It's kind of a little event center. It seems, yeah, of. yeah. I, I don't know if it's a space for rent or what. Uh, I, what I did see was a lot of um, inf- information access on a lot of, um, I guess you could say, hot button political topics, but just a lot of social topics too. Like uh, they had, if you needed more information on uh, Justice for Greenwood and and mm. and, oh, great. and, and uh, preserving the history of Black Wall Street, they had a link you could. Uh, what do you call? QR code you could scan to get more information. They had uh, information on protecting reproductive rights and the fight to reinstate Roe. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had stuff on uh, harm reduction and, and, and how to help addicts, you know, through their process. Yeah, yeah. You know, but yo, go check out Center for Public for sure. Secrets. It yeah, was really those cool. Those are all great things. Yeah, located on Six and Peoria, Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> zip code seven four one zero six. I'm pretty Actually, sure that one. I uh, it might be seven four one two zero. Yeah, but oh, fuck me then. <laughs> <laughs> The only reason I know that is because our shop is at first in Peoria. So oh, okay. I, we probably have the same it zip might code. Might be similar. Yeah. yeah. Probably. Unless, oh, sorry. Playing okay. footsie with Hilton. Right. Ooh. 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 <laughs> I get the ooh. Wow. Yeah, that's probably one of the first times we've ever used that not for a James, James Marsden, Marsden reference. Oh, he is so. <laughs> he is dreamy. Okay. I might rewatch that. Have you seen Enchanted? No, but I need to. I need to. I have no, not enchanted. Yeah, di- enchanted. it is. Yeah, and with then there's the... disenchanted, right? Right. But yeah. I hate Amy Adams with my whole heart. Do you? I wrote oh, a what? entire paper on her in oh. college about how much I didn't like her. Wow. I learned a lot about hate and the word. Would and... you come on? Yeah, we don't hate. Hitler hated. He, she, Amy Adams. <laughs> hate. Um, I had a teacher that said that. <laughs> I'm going to say that to my future children. Was Amy Adams, Amy Adams was hot girl on The Office, right? Yeah. yeah okay. Well, you need to come on the on People, Person, Paper podcast again just to watch season one episode Hot Girl with us, since that's all about Amy Adams. Well, and she was in something that I saw. And did you see Sharp Objects? Uh-huh. She's no. fucking great in that. I really? never saw Sharp Objects. Okay. okay. Sharp Objects is a, is a uh, Gillian Flynn novel. Okay. Uh, she did Gone Girl. Oh shit! Um, oh, it's a series, isn't it? Yes, that book's in- incredible. And you know why I didn't watch it? Because Amy, Amy Adams. Adams is in it. Really? It's really, really, really good. You know, there's it's really good. Though, I'm actually going to rewatch you, it soon. You can't nice. explain like there's people that you just don't. Oh, of course. Why? I have, oh yeah, I have lots of people where I'm like, I have no idea why, but I fucking can't stand that person. It's Amy Jimmy Adams Buffett. for me. Mm-hmm. That's no, I know why. <laughs> You know exactly why. Rest in piss. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Oh, wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's terrible. I'm kidding. Uh, Jimmy Buffett. Yeah. He the, died? the late great. He, he did. He died like yesterday. Yeah. Or yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday. Yeah. We're free. Oh, I'm having a weird. The margarita reaction. man is gone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a weird reaction. I might cry. Wasting away. Were you a fan? <laughs> no, like not oh. a fan. <laughs> but he created a lot of memories for me and my family. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The margarita salesman of the year. Mm-hmm. Every yeah, year. Yeah, he helped a lot of middle aged white men forget that. There was a fucking time when I went to Margaritaville sure. with my family and all yeah. my cousins were visiting, and it was Florida. Yeah. So it was peak Jimmy Gross. Buffett. Yeah, yeah. Was, that, I know. That's, that's where his people live. It was live. Jacksonville, Florida, too. Or, oh or that's, Orlando, that's, like that's the worst. The capital of Margaritaville. <laughs> and fucking, um, they have people on stilts in Margaritaville. Oh, hell yeah. And yeah. I, there Only was, for the first half of the night. There's this picture of me uh, in between the legs of this very large man and he's on stilts too and it's just me in between his stilts and I have like a balloon hat on and it's like the weirdest picture of all time now I love it I'll send it to you. Yeah, please. I, love it. I want this. Okay. <laughs> R.I.P. Yeah. Jimmy Buffett. R.I.P. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett, the world's greatest tequila James, salesman. James Buffet. Yeah. <laughs> James Buffet. Yeah. James Buffet. Thank you for margarita. Uh, in, in all honesty, though, like I, th- there are people who I've been genuinely happy when they've passed away. I, I yeah, yeah, no yeah, this is not joy. that. Yeah, this no. is just jokes uh, no. because I did hate the music. But uh, yeah, no, this isn't like a... Uh, uh, a Rush Limbaugh situation. No, yeah, this is not one of those rare. They are better off. Yeah, the world's ha- grip better having shuffled having the them mortal gone. coil. coil. <laughs> yes. yeah. No, there's a few of those though. There's a few. There's a few. We won't get yeah, it. That's, that's world's few, though, genuinely though. better without a Rush Limbaugh in it. This is a happy show though. So this is a show. It full is. Of, Sorry, Hilton. Go ahead. Take full us of somewhere. whimsy, full of wonder. Take, Take us somewhere happier. Again to Take me away. <laughs> Take us away again to somewhere happy, though. Yeah, let's go. Let's go somewhere. 
<laughs> it's my own damn phone. I love that shit. Is that yeah. Jimmy Buffett? Yeah, yeah, it was. It was it, well, no, it was it was Mac Taylor. Let's be honest. That was there is no comparison. Coming there. soon, a show Remix? of impressions. Yeah, yeah. We the best music. We the best music. <laughs> we the best Buffett. <laughs> Buffet Buffet. <laughs> Come on We're down the to the Buffet, Buffet Buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <coughs> Why hasn't any of our friends started a buffet yet? Why? Yeah, I am dis- disappointed <laughs> that the River Spirit Casino no longer has a buffet. Why? Uh, COVID? The pandemic. COVID killed the buffets. Yeah. It, it buffets. killed a lot of them. Not all of them. You know where the best I mean, Golden Corral's still going hard. India Palace still has theirs. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I, uh, I think there's a couple Chinese buffets. Uh, East China Buffet in Bigsby, Oklahoma. Yeah. Do you remember Old Country Buffet? No. Oh, but it sounds good. It, like was country food. Oh, it, yeah, I mean, it was basically like a golden corral. It was just, yeah, like mm-hmm. getting hungry. Fried That'd chicken, really cool fried catfish, medieval. prime rib. Yeah. But then they'd have like random shit. Like there'd be like, you can get like lasagna and tacos. And, like yeah, it was always like it was always like just classic country American food, okay. and then like two <coughs> stations of like random other shit. Oh wow! Uh, but I remember I used to like. They had my, and you know, sometimes there are little things that you don't normally like notice or remember about places. Yeah. But I would remember the, how good the mashed potatoes were. Okay. And how. At Old Country Buffet? Mm hmm. Nice. The mashed potatoes and white gravy was my jam. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a white gravy boy. Yeah. I'm a red well, gravy boy. I'm a red gravy boy, too. <laughs> I'm, I'm an all gravy. I'm a. I'm, I'm I'm an all gravy. Guy. I'm, I'm not. A, gravy. I'm not a big yeah, fan brown of brown gravy. gravy. Brown gravy, gravy. Give me all the gravy. It's not gross. I'll gravy, do it gravy, on gravy, turkey, gravy. but yeah. I don't want it on my mashed potatoes. Turkey see. is good on turkey. Yeah, see, but I it's don't not want gross. It on my That's potatoes. a big word. No, see if I do it on. <laughs> we don't gross. Hitler grossed. <laughs> Hitler grossed. <laughs> I, uh, I don't. Uh, I I don't. I I if I'm eating turkey with brown gravy, I want that same gravy on the mashed potatoes. That uh, that's all a thing together for me. Yeah, not me. Yeah, no. See, that's crazy. I'll let that flavor. Mix in my mouth a little bit, maybe, but I'm not pouring that gravy on my potatoes. Wow, okay. you know why? Why? Here's the thing brown gravy makes the potatoes really soggy, whereas white gravy is thick enough where it doesn't take away, it doesn't make the potatoes soggy. I want because you- my mashed potatoes have got to be thick. Th- th- I like them thick. I like, them thick. 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 Two I like my mashed potatoes like my dick. <laughs> <laughs> nice and thick, uh, built like a beer can. Uh, I have watched a, a million <laughs> episodes of The Office, and that Paul Rudd was cringier than anything Michael Scott has ever done. <laughs> Was, but it was so genuinely it was very, funny. It was very funny. It was very funny. <laughs> With my dick. I'm fixes my dick. <laughs> my dick. I'm going to put some dick. That's like in. a 10 year old movie, too, huh? Yeah, it's pretty old That's now. A while, while ago. Yeah. If you rewatch it, it's aged well, too. Like, it's not fucking problematic. No. <laughs> well, and because, and also, more couples are swinging. They, that's a thing, man. Well, and that's not what the movie's about. That's like a that's very a small scene. portion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a couple trying to find it's themselves. It's more about, yeah, yeah. And, and about the hippie commune. And Justin Theroux's in it as well. Okay. Mm-hmm. And it's when her and people. it was it, when Great him cast. and Jennifer were dating. Jennifer oh. An- Aniston. Okay. Je- Je- Jennifer, Jennifer Aniston's Aniston. in this, too? Man, I feel like we kind of buried the mm-hmm. lead a little. Oh, is that what sells you? Is Anna's Jennifer? No, no, no. Great. Oh, she's, she's wonderful. That's probably I, when I should have known I was gay is when I saw Jennifer Anderson's nipples in Friends. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I'm just going to state that. Yeah, that'll do uh, it. I'm not going to lie. That scene in We Are the Millers where she does the little strip down. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? Oh, God. That was 2012, too. 2012 she, was a good year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She's a smoke show. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. She's an she's Oklahoma a... smoke show. Is she from yeah. Oklahoma, she's too? She's an Oklahoma. Oh, yeah. that's no, right. she's not. No, no, no she's, she's not. not. No. She is. No, she definitely, definitely is. 100%. Brad Pitt's from Oklahoma. Bra- exactly. That's he true. Is. Brad Pitt is he from is. He's from uh, Davis, No, Oklahoma. she's like a New Yorker. Oh, yeah. B- born and raised. <laughs> hey, I'm from fucking San Antonio, yeah. Texas. Baker, born and raised. Bakersfield, California. <laughs> no, Sherman Oaks at Los Angeles. Born in Los Angeles. Oh, okay. So All she's right, a so Los she, Angeles. She's a, she's an Angelino. Hey, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm born from Los hey. Angeles. Hey. Somebody had to explain. I was just recently in Los Angeles, and somebody had to explain to me um, why it's called the City of Angels. Okay. Because it's yeah. fucking the Angels. This, yeah. Wait, what does it say Los again? Los Angeles is the Angels. Los Angeles. Oh, yeah. So that's why it's that's called what the it means. City of yeah. Angels. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to y'all 
and say that I knew what <laughs> that, that meant. That's, that's okay. okay. That's all right. Yeah. I did. I Most did. people don't know that San Diego means uh, uh, a whale's, whale's vagina. vagina. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's from Anchorman. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that shit. Yeah. That was iconic. It was the first hilarious movie that was rated PG thirteen. And was it? Was it? Well, in my opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, like in that time period, the the only movies that were coming out that mm-hmm. were comedies were rated R. They were like all National Lampoon. That's funnier when you could say fuck. Yeah, I guess you're right. But Anchorman proved that shit wrong. They said fuck one time. Wow. Because it's PG-13. Yeah. It oh, because it was. Yeah, they couldn't curse as much, but they were still funny. Uh-huh. And I don't mean to brag okay. on the pod, but I... Was a number one AMC stub salesman when I worked at AMC. Hey. I believe that. I, I would absolutely buy a movie ticket from you. Fuck yeah, you would. Yeah. You could get you could upgrade your popcorns, medium to large. That's what and I it's need only to do. A, that's only twelve dollars a year. Hillary. That's more. That's a year more for it less. It was at the time. It was twelve dollars a year Damn. and you could like get like a free I don't fucking remember now, but yeah. when I Won that. I won a Anchorman Will Ferrell bobblehead. And hey, nice. He sits in my home today. That That's back when bobbleheads were still kind of new. Like Now bobbleheads oh, yeah. are everywhere. The, bobbleheads. the idea that that's your incentive prize, though, is such a, a like, that's American a, capitalist oh, thing. Yo, like, I got that prize, and I was like, yeah, I like, need to quit college. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's so yep. funny, though. You're like, I made the company thousands of dollars, and I got this $2 bobblehead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. I remember working at that theater on Thanksgiving, and we had the grossest little to go Thanksgiving meals Ew. in the break room. Ew. And I oh, was, I thought it meant offered to people. No. <laughs> buy some turkey at but the movie theater. But we got paid a dollar more to work on Thanksgiving and we got paid two dollars more to work on the Hunger Games premiere. <laughs> Tell me that shit ain't what backwards one dollar more to work on things yeah. sorry that's time and yeah. a half baby but that hunger games premiere was probably a shit show let's be honest and i For was sure. a concession lead oh wow so i'm not trying to say like i'm a bad bitch but, but you knew but how you to are butter some bitch. fucking popcorn oh i knew how to flip that popcorn flip i knew it. how to flip it reverse it and a lot of people don't know you gotta it, reverse it. flip it re- reverse what is it, it bust it down flip is your firminifer wet yet yeah <laughs> I put my thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Because my firminifer's wet no, now. AMC, if you're still selling coffee, cut that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, nobody's buying coffee. <laughs> and that gave me mental B, so stop. Mental bean? B. B. Mental B. Yeah. Oh. What's mental oh, B? I was, I was about to be on Peter's. Uh, What's mental B festival? for the fans? Mental breakdown. Thank oh, you. the old mental B. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, uh, I did Peter and Evan's uh, circle show last week. Yeah, I was about to say I was want, I I wanted to do that show. I was Nicole ha- couldn't do it, so yeah. Evan was like, "Do you want to hop on?" And then something came up, and I couldn't even go. But I wanted mm. to make this joke really bad. I wanted to say, "Thank you, Peter, for all of the human beings you've created." Mm-hmm. Um, me, I as well am a fan of the bee. <laughs> ah. Uh huh. Okay, yeah. Cool. I'm glad of, I didn't make it. Because of fan of the bean, of clitoris. Yeah. yeah. Flick the bean as yeah. it were. All right. Uh, <laughs> glad I didn't make it to that one. We are we are not cultured men. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to remember that <sighs> us going, yeah, that may be the best you get out of us as humans. That's well, that's it. But <laughs> y'all are okay. Okay. But, but I, we we have mad bean respect. Bean spec. Oh, for sure. Yeah. All day, yeah. every day. Oh, and then I wanted to go into Hell, I know this where story. To find it. Not everyone can say that. I had to do community service when I was 17. Well, sure. And we, my friend Alice and I volunteered at Iron Gate. Okay, cool. And they assigned us to separate all of the beans that okay. were donated. Oh. And I don't huh. know if you guys realized how many types of beans there are. Garbanzo, <laughs> yeah. uh, baked, uh-huh. uh, uh, refried, uh, kidney, navy, lima. Navy, lima, navy beans, navy beans, navy. noodle sandwich. We did that for like two hours. Yeah, bean, bean separate. And then like these two like people that are not that don't have houses got in a fight in the cafeteria area, oh, and no. then the deacon of Iron Gate came up. Her name's Deacon. She, her name was Deacon Deborah, and she said, "What does a bean mean?" Well, they told Deacon. <laughs> <laughs> Deacon Deborah knew she was hot. <laughs> Fucking, she came up and they're like, these two dudes just got in a fight. And she goes, damn, I missed it. And I was just like, yes. 
My little seventeen-year-old brain was like, "I love the Catholics." <laughs> yeah, I love the Catholics, or whatever that church is. <laughs> Trinity Episcopalian. No, I'm sticking with I love the Catholics. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't though. I, I was welcome say, to I'm Mac not, Taylor's I'm new gonna... show. I love the Catholics. <laughs> <laughs> As as a uh, as a reformed one, no, thank you. That reminds yeah, they wouldn't me. let me get married in their church, so yeah. fuck them. Fuck them. I, I actually have fucked in a Catholic church, so I fucked uh, on a You're stage welcome. before. I, I finger banged in one once. Really? Yeah. Oh, in a church? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I I got uh, felt up in front of a church bus. Okay. okay. Nice. While my friend was getting banged on the bus. Mm. I don't. I don't. I did a lot more at Falls Creek. Yeah. Yo, I never got asked out to an icy date, so I don't want to talk about his amp. A lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we talk enough about how much sex we had as pubescents. Uh, yeah, I didn't lose my virginity until I was 20. At church. Oh, snap. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Well, that's, that's <laughs> Just cool. so y'all know. I was a little monster. <laughs> that's, yeah? Yeah, I don't need to. I was. You don't want to talk about it. I was 14. It, yeah, maybe ditto. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was wish little, I was fourteen. I was a little monster. Yeah. I did everything too early. It was weird because Zamp and I you. just met. Too. That's why I'm sober now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we 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 went <laughs> hard. We went hard and went hard. Yeah, yeah. yeah my twenties were a blur. Yeah, <laughs> my early twenties. The parts you remember were very nice. I, I gotta say, man, I I did live my twenties like I didn't plan on seeing my thirties. Mm. Samezies. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that uh, that uh, defeatist attitude got us far, guys. Good job. But you know, it's funny because I was like, "Oh, I'm gonna create so many memories." Though I don't remember most of it. Yeah. <laughs> because of all the shit. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, yeah. Anywho, boy, oh boy, this new Mario game looks wild and wacky. You can have a you can have a drill hat in this one. Yeah, we're getting to see more of Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Uh, you get new... a drill hat, and you can go inside the ground. Yep, and you got the bubble, the bubble maker, and bubble you can boy. case uh, bad guys in bubbles and and ride and stand on bubbles. Mm-hmm. I'm um, not a video game girl. Either. You can turn into a heffalump. Yeah, you get the elephant power. Yeah, and you're you're not a video gamer, Mac. No, not really. But I can appreciate the this. Like yeah. this is dope. Yeah, it, this is classic video game. Mm-hmm. Left to right. I just never, because I grew up with a brother, and like it just. So you never got to play. Well, it's not that I didn't get to play. It's just that when I would play with him, I would be, I would be worse, and so. Sure. Yeah. And then he would just it, be mean about it. You know how siblings are. Uh-huh. And just like, I got bad video game memories. I think, but you got you got some video game trauma. But I've been getting really into Mario Kart. Like Mario I think Kart's that's the a good. OG. Do you remember when I came on you and Ryan Green's um? show at comedy parlor the video game show the video oh, game yeah. show absolutely game and rift. y'all were giving me shit about wanting to play tetris and you're like this isn't gonna work on the show and then i played tetris and it was like fucking hilarious that show was a lesson in learning to not not have expectations about a show because the games that were the most fun were always the stuff that we would have never in a million years it was stuff like Tetris or right, right, right. Jeopardy on the old Nintendo. You know, mm-hmm. there was stuff that we would not expect to be so fun and was a blast. That was a fun time. Yeah, that was a great show. We did. We tried it again at Starlight, but uh, for whatever reason, we just couldn't find the vibe there. Uh, and uh, and Laura and I have a good thing with our Starlight comedy night, so we're not we're not trying to dilute those waters. Hell yeah, you do that. You can that only room handle is so much. Room. Yeah, like that vibe in there. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Yeah, we're blessed for that room. Um, uh, Lynn and Rob, of course, uh, just too blessed to be stressed. <laughs> yeah, shout absolutely. out Lynn and Rob. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, grateful for them uh, giving uh, creating this wonderful space for us to to hang out and to uh, put on shows. So for my sober friends, they have a beautiful Thai coffee drink. Yeah, they've got so. a good little mocktail list. And yeah, they really do. And it's like so good whenever I go out, I like to start with my caffeine and then I nice. go into those fun mocktails, you know what I mean? Thai coffee, huh? I need to try that next it's time. So funny. The only thing problem is if I do the coffee too late, I'm up late. I've got that old person problem where you can't do the coffee. Can't have caffeine oh. after six? Like one. Like wow. any, like like two one? o'clock and I'll be like like at, at eleven o'clock at night. I'm like, What's wrong with me? Why am I still awake? <laughs> you know? I'm that I'm that motherfucker that can have coffee at nine PM if I wanted to. Wow, yeah. But you, you still do the monster energy drinks? I haven't had an energy drink in years. Yeah, like, I have to I do the sugar free though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you like those white the white ones? The uh, white no, thing? I get the green sugar free. Oh, okay. okay. I wish I didn't. I'm I'm embarrassed to drink monsters. <laughs> to be well, honest I used with to you. have it's a, disgusting. I used, yeah. I used to have my uh, my monster. 
Ikea, my monster tab necklace Yeah. in middle school. Like I was very proud of it. Tight. tight. My mom would yeah. like want me to rip it off so bad. <laughs> and I still have all my monster tabs are in my old uh, glasses tab. Nice. Rhett was yeah. collecting them for a little while. So it's still a thing. No, oh, okay. Yeah. That makes me so happy. Yeah, my son was If I ever drink them. a if I ever drink a monster, I will give him my tabs. <laughs> All right, cool. Man. Should we pick some plugs? Should we? All right, let's do it. I uh, got to talk about, I mentioned it just a minute ago, but of course, the Starlight Comedy Night. We always are super excited about our monthly show happening the second Friday of every month at the Starlight in beautiful Midtown Tulsa. This week, we've got an exciting Starlight Comedy Night with uh, three fantastic comics, two of which are brand new to the Starlight stage. Exactly. That's the noise. Arthur Dixon is uh, a newcomer to the Starlight Stage. Christina Kuma is back on the Starlight Stage. And Katie Style, we are super psyched to welcome her to the Starlight for the first time. It's going to be a kick-ass show. Laura and I hosting, of course. That is going to be September 8th, this coming Friday. So I hope I'll see you guys there. And, of course, you can hear my dulcet tones on a couple of other podcasts, including OK Geek, where I talk about the latest comic book news. Uh, did a, a great review of a great book, The Call, uh, by an uh, artist named... Um, Oh, shucks. Uh, Kelly Thompson, uh, who I've been a big fan of recently. Her run on Captain Marvel was awesome. Uh, and this new book, this new original work from her has been a lot of fun, too. So you can see my full review on OK Geek. And then, of course, the People Person Paper podcast is working its way through season six of The Office. Brian Sittler and I having so much fun. Uh, and we are on the road to Sabre now that we have crossed Scott's tots. So come check it out. And you might even hear some familiar a-hole voices there as well. Oh, intriguing. Right. Uh, and if I got to do a pick this week, oh, man, what are we going to do for a pick? Um, I'm gonna throw it out there, man. I was uh, on my way to work. Uh, on my way to work, I was gonna say on my way to the record this morning, and heard a little bit of Snake River Conspiracy covering Love Song uh, that I knew uh, Zamp would not love, but I sure as hell did. So if you haven't listened to that and you need some gritty, dumb industrial covers in your life, check that out. I don't know why, but I don't know why I've never liked a Cure cover. Well, because you like the originals. I like the Cure so much that I'm like, don't do that. <laughs> There's you can't improve on perfection. No, I get that. Yeah, it's like when you remake a movie. Yeah, it's like it was like somebody tried to remake a Prince song. Most no, of the time, you can't I'd do that. Who you. tried to do that? I, I don't know. I'm saying it's like if somebody did. Oh. You would, yeah, you see, you that's the reaction yeah, I have. I like, like that. You'd be appalled. Like, why would you do that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Mac, what do you uh, you got? Any recommendations for our listeners? Anything that you've been watching, listening to, enjoying, reading that you want to tell them about? Ooh, I love this. Okay, so I can't stop watching Below Deck. Um, started on season five. I see a lot of ads for that. Uh, I'm sure because there's like a million different spinoffs, and yep. so and it was hilarious because Morgan is not a reality TV show person, and so whenever I started watching it, Morgan's like, "How many seasons are there?" And I'm like. Oh, and they, you can like see that they the were like visibly so upset. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. Maybe I'll try to find something new. But and for podcast, I listen to um, High Jinx every week. It's okay. Jinx Monsoon's podcast. Oh, cool. Um, and she interviews people every week. She's been doing rewind episodes the last couple of weeks. So you know you love a podcast if they do rewind episodes and you're fucking bummed. You know mm, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This so, is not new content. Sure. Yeah. Jinx Monsoon is going to be making uh, her, uh, her debut on Doctor Who coming up here in a couple months. I know. I'm excited. So, yeah, me too. I, I got I'm into Doctor curious Who. curious to see what that's about. I, I watched the David Tennant seasons. Oh, that's great years. So I know, right? Yeah, that's, um, that's the good stuff. But can't recommend going outside enough. Yeah, Follow yeah. me on. Uh, yeah, where can we see more of you? Uh, Instagram and TikTok. You can follow me at Mac 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 Tag. I do like your TikTok. That's a lot of fun. That it's, makes me happy. Yeah, you come on my for you page. It's good quite follow. A bit, so TikTok, oh, I love it. You see, do too. I like see. yours too. Thank you. I have some chips in my pantry. You should try chips. Man, the the chip journey has been a fun one. Uh-huh, there's um, a lot of fun flavors. I found. I took some chips from the room in Huntington Beach, and they're like Thai barbecue Ooh, cool. yeah I'll, I'll bring them over yeah i'll test them to make sure they're not stale or anything but, okay okay um yeah there's no k's in that mac 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 tack um and go listen to my little brother's album yeah. zach brian that little shit <laughs> right that like do y'all remember so him like, coming to shows and shit uh, yes uh-huh. and getting yeah. drunk? Yep. yes yeah yes and it's it's wild because this is now, uh, th- so th- for for people that don't know, Max's brother is next level famous right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like 
This dude just sold out two shows at the BOK back to back. Uh, BOK Center holding about 17,000 and change. Yeah, he broke those records. And then the week after, they announced two more shows in December of next year that I'm sure are going to sell out here. Immediately, as soon as tickets go on sale. Yeah, yeah they're like on pre sale or something. Yeah. I mean, it is wild yeah. mm-hmm. <laughs> to see but what's I've gotten going to, on. I mean, I'm blessed to like, we have a great relationship and he. Yeah, you guys are super close. And it's, I always actually loved the sort of relationship that you guys had. It's, there's nothing else. There's not family is number one. Like mm-hmm. there's nothing else in our opinion. And like, we've just gone through so much shit and I'm just so proud of him. And he yeah. fucking, he usually sends me his songs and I've gotten to hear these songs like grow and grow and grow. Yeah. So yeah. like. Now to hear the whole album together, to be able to go to Spotify and just like click on it. Yeah, that's it's so be exciting. So cool. mm-hmm. Like all of it's so exciting. And like I've gotten to travel quite a bit because of all of it. That's awesome. And even before the music, he, when he, he was in the you, Navy, I got to go. Before, I like went to Washington yeah. for, because of him. You got like, to meet Teresa Caputo. Holy shit. Yeah, we got to talk yeah. about that before we stop. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, because I started doing her character a year ago or f- longer than that ago. And yeah. yeah, and you just met, this was just like a couple months ago that you met her, right? Even less than that, like within the last month. Was it? Okay. And. Yeah. Morgan and I didn't think we were going to go because we had Jinx Monsoon tickets in Oklahoma City. Mm. And I thought it was on the same night. But then like a few days before, I was like, wait, what the fuck? This is Friday. And Perfect. the other show's Saturday. Nice so we side. can definitely go. And or <coughs> whatever the days were. And um, so my dad hooked us up with tickets because he's friends with some guy at River Spirit. Nice. But then my brother wound up being in town. So he got the other he got the other hookup, you know. And of course. So this guy like walks us in and he tells us we're going to meet her bef- before the show starts. So like the whole show, I have to sit there like I'm going to meet Teresa. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, wow. And it was so dope. Like he, he did, he like, he took up on his promise. He came and got us and she like come out, comes out of her green room and, uh, all of her glory. And I got to get a new wig y'all like her hair just getting longer and longer. Right. Yeah. I and, saw that. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I think I made a connection, like a network connection. That's like, amazing. It's crazy, and she she yeah. said just like some great lines in that mo- in those moments backstage. Well, I I, I enjoyed nice. seeing that she was um, flattered by by you doing the character. It was a relief. Like yeah. I wasn't gonna bring because I brought the wig. Like I wasn't gonna wear it. Like everyone was like, you should show up dressed as her, and I'm like, that's an insult. Like yeah, that's yeah. not what you do. This is her show. And Zach drunkenly wore it in the backseat on the way to the show. And he was about to wear it in. And I was like, please do not wear that wig in. Like, it needs some help. And um, so we didn't bring it in or anything. But she wound up saying, she was like, it's normally the drag queens that do it. And I'm like, I am a drag queen, like, Mm -hmm. technically. And it's just so cool. Yeah. Life Life is beautiful. And, like, you just have to fucking try. And I know that there's a lot of things that have come to my life because of what's happened to my brother Mm -hmm. and i went through a lot of shit this year like trying to process it all and like sure i'm with you i mean it what you said just hit home that you just you have to try like for Mm me i I was recently thinking about because my old guitar player put our old band's stuff on spotify yeah um so now you can hear my old stuff that sounds very bad which band uh, day by day, we were called, uh, okay. but it's on there as Day X Day because there and there's a lot of different ones. You got to find it. It's going to be tough. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you know, I was thinking about how even though we didn't make it, as they say, we didn't get signed, we didn't do, <clears throat> you know, whatever. I was in a band for multiple years. We played a lot of cities, and you know, at the end of the day. When I was growing up, my biggest dream was to be in a band. Right. That's all I wanted in the world was to be in a band. And so now, no matter what happens for the rest of my life, I can at least say that I did that. I wanted to do it, and I did it. I went out. You know, I learned how to play. I was in several different bands. And so even though I didn't make it, I can... Uh, that's one of them. Yeah, that's the, that's the, I that's met the you last there. band I was in. Yeah, I knew you from that before I met you through comedy. Yeah, isn't that wild? Oh, yeah, because wow. you used to open for Society Society or play with Society Society, yeah. and I was a major Society Society groupie. Like, okay, ugh, and I saw Greater Than Planes, <coughs> and I was like, who is this? Wow. 
Yeah. Yeah. But That's I get what you're wild. saying. Like you went out and you did it. And yeah. Now mm-hmm. you are going to grow up in your life and you're going to know that you did it. And yep. that's how I feel about comedy. That's how I feel about everything. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Agreed. And I did, I did both. I've done, now I can say that I've, I played music for 10 years yeah. and I've done comedy for over 10 years. That's an accomplishment. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's something. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. As, as we. <laughs> well, as you hit these milestones, and especially you know you and I, as we we're we're, we're getting closer to big milestone Our twilight ages, years, like uh, fifty, you're thinking about like legacy and things that you've done, and what have you accomplished, and should you have accomplished more, or should it be different? Oh, my answer is absolutely yes, and that's why I have a fire under my ass right now because boy, I feel like that window's closing. But yeah, yeah, and and and, and that nah. and that can definitely drive some people to good work, and and, and I, I you know I hope there's a the, the right balance there of a of not being unrealistic, but at the For same sure. time pushing yourself. Uh, but also, it is neat to see you know just because they're having been you know necessarily accolades or fame mm-hmm. you know you know like like what what what, what ola ministries has grown into the last couple of years is, is just such an impressive feat and right and having uh, nearly 200 uh, nearly 300 episodes of a podcast in the can is, mm-hmm. is just been such a fun endeavor that you know even if I, I i've had the realization that you know there's plenty more time and plenty more work to do but it is also exciting to look back and say these are accomplishments and Absolutely. that's a lot of fun Absolutely. I've been doing that a lot recently. And I know I'm younger, but I'm a firm believer that my, there's no there's no time limit on yeah. jack shit. Absolutely. That's yeah. that's a lot that's another reason why I'm like I have to keep trying cuz it's it's not too late. Yeah, yeah. we're still here. Yeah. We're still living. Yeah. But yeah. It, but it's like you're you're absolutely right back. There is not there is no time limit and even less for you. Right. <laughs> well, and, and that's just the facts. Yeah, like I'm a bad. bad. That's science, right? That's science. That's and how the, time works. And but the, like you and started little, Starlight how many years ago? Uh, and we're going on six now. Just as the podcast getting ready to do seven, you know. And we are whenever you were younger, mm-hmm. whenever you were younger, like 25, <laughs> did you think you were gonna have a podcast for seven years? Or? When I was 25, I didn't know any of this would happen. Exactly. That's the amazing thing about and it, too. And now you're Hilton When you were 25, price. you didn't know what a podcast was because right. it didn't exist. It didn't yeah, exist. exactly. Yeah. I remember looking at the podcast app on my iPhone, though, and just being like, what is that? Right. I never pressed it. <laughs> and now <laughs> it's so like funny. unlocked this whole, like, whoa, this is free content? Right. Well, and, and you know, just to think, like, I was 28 when I started doing comedy, and every everything that matters and is, is enriching and, and part of my life now grew from that. So what I have in my life now is radically different from what I was doing at yeah. 25. So 100%. It's, yeah. uh, it's, There's so much. You, life is chapters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and the trick is just to try and stick around long enough to see them. You know? Wow. And that was fucking. That was some deep shit. I'm going to stop talking. That's it for me today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll, do, I'll do my picks and plugs then. How about that? Yeah. Do it. Uh, I actually had a couple picks this week. Nice. Um, uh, I had a game pick because, uh, as I mentioned, I've been playing Ghost of Tsushima. And uh, or oh, Sushima, as it's pronounced in the game, uh, and that game is fucking rad. Uh, it's a huge open world game where you get to uh, uh, murder the invading Mongols that are trying to take over Japan in yes. like twelve whatever. Okay, pretty Those fun. Thirteenth century Mongols can suck it. Yeah, yeah. the cons were mean. Yeah. <laughs> they had some cons. Oh. <laughs> Pros, none. none. Cons, all Lots of them. Of them. I'm going to leave. I'll, I'll, go, I'll, go, I'll go home. <laughs> uh, also, I watched a couple of uh, movies recently uh, that I'd been meaning to watch for a while. Um, X and Pearl. Okay. Uh, <gasps> have you seen those? No, I'm so excited. I forgot about them. Yeah. So oh. so X is the, the first one that came out. Is and that who going to give it to you? It was. Okay. Not anymore. Okay. Before he has passed. Oh, yeah. Aww. Yeah. X can't give it to anyone anymore on account of death. Um, so thanks for bringing that up, asshole. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so uh, Pearl is actually a prequel of, of X. Okay. Um, and both star Mia Goth, uh, who is really fantastic. Iconic. She's really, really good. Um, I will say that I liked Pearl a little bit more only because it is stylized very differently from X. Okay. Um, the uh, Pearl has a little bit more of like almost that RKO era of a mm-hmm. feel to the film. And it's a lot more of a 
psychological thriller journey through the formation of this person. Uh-huh. Whereas X has a little bit more of just a classic horror movie feel to it. Okay. Both are fantastic. Great movies. Loved them. Okay. Um, and then if you need something fun, uh, I just recently introduced, uh, by recently I mean this morning, introduced my wife to The Underdogs Show. Have you guys heard of that? No. What's uh-uh. that? The Underdogs Show, um, I think they're Australian maybe. Uh, it is uh, It is puppets of dogs mm. doing parodies of famous songs with all dog content it's fucking incredible yeah it sounds perfect um uh they're very short too i'll you know what i'll i'll find one real quick and give us a little taste uh because they're just so so adorable um but do 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 let's see here we go. Been one week since you patted me, so I cuffed my leg on the couch and did a big wave, left a wet patch joy. on your seat. I, I feel joy. Upset, but I've got my reasons. I did a poop in the <laughs> living room, walked across the keyboard while you are on Zoom. You're wondering why I'm being naughty. It's because I'm concerned that you have replaced me. Oh, but since you got a girlfriend, I'm not your best friend. That is very bad behavior. You left a bone, but you so left good. me all alone. And close the bedroom door. As an owner, you're a failure. Huh. You know what they're doing in there, don't you? What? Oh, oh! <laughs> it's fucking fantastic. It makes perfect sense. Uh, this morning, the one I saw was uh, the uh, cover of War Pigs. Okay, um, sure, sure. By Black Sabbath. <laughs> it, it, it's really, really great. Man, uh, yeah. So if you need something fun, check out uh, the Underdogs Show uh, YouTube or Facebook, wherever. Um, and then plugs, come see me Friday, September 29th at the Spotlight Theater with our good friend Evan Hughes uh, and I believe three other comedians three, that are on four, the show. Yeah. Uh, very excited for that. Uh, Going to get to stretch my legs a bit, do a nice thirty minute set. Uh, so Ooh. please come out and see that. I'm very excited to be at the Spotlight Theater. Mm-hmm. I'm very excited to just be back out. I'm doing a show. So come see me live doing stand up comedies into a microphone with my mouth (laughs) (laughs) and and words that came out of my brain. (laughs) Can I do a couple plugs that I forgot? Absolutely. Please do. Uh, Recently watched the movie The Beach Bum. I watched the trailer years ago and I was like, I really want to watch that movie. And then it was one that I just never came across. Yeah. And it was, that one had Spring on, Breakers vibes. Is it weird? It's way better than Spring Breakers. Oh, and shit. it's okay. from 2019. You can watch it on Max. Okay. And Matthew McConaughey is the lead. And Isla Fisher's in it. I have a huge crush on her. Snoop Dogg's in it. I have a huge crush on him. I knew it. It's, it is a Harmony Corinne movie, though. Oh, yeah. And he's the guy that did Spring Breakers. Okay. And, oh, okay. And, and, so that makes sense. And he did Gummo. Kids. Um, he wrote Kids, but uh, Larry, Larry Clark, Clark directed, directed it. Right, yeah. Well, it was fantastic. And I Harmony Corinne's a fucking beautiful weirdo, man. He's so weird. I didn't really Go like... Ahead. I didn't. I need to look more into his yeah, work. Yeah, yeah. He's period. just a very interesting guy. Yeah. There's a video. Someone made a compilation of his appearances on David Letterman throughout the 90s yeah. that were all very... Very, very strange. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's fun to watch. Okay. But I'm, yeah, I'm so excited. tell me more about Beach Pump. Uh, well, that's pretty much it oh, on okay. that. Okay, Just cool. watch that movie. All Matthew right. McConaughey Check does a out. fabulous job. Where'd you say it was streaming? Max. Uh, Max. Max. All right, bet. Yeah, it's called Max now. Yeah, um, Ma- Maximus. <laughs> and I have my first stand-up show in like literally six months. Oh, wow. Cool. Um, Where at? At Rax. Oh, oh, I've heard yeah. about this venue. It's I've heard the good t-shirt. things. It's on the On 11th shop. Street. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yes. It's yeah. an Evan Hughes show. 11th in Columbia, I think I want to say. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when this episode comes out, but. It, it's right next to the old liquor store that is now the uh, emergency vet that we took our dog to. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's right by the pie hole. Okay, you gotcha. Yeah. Okay, thank mm-hmm. you. Now I know where it's at. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's September 14th. Nice. Not sure of the time, but if I get a poster, I'll post it yeah. on the Instagram. It'll be, uh, it'll be just west of Delaware on 11th Street. Nice. On September 14th. And folks September 14th. Can so this you. will be out way before that. This will be out tomorrow. Okay, cool. Mac, Mac, Mac attack. Yep. No All case. Right. Kick ass. Well, Mac, thanks for coming back and giving us the attack. I love coming back. Yeah. Yeah, it's really and fun attack. when you come. We appreciate it. Uh, so follow her on all the things. Follow us on all the things. Go to all the shows. Go to all the shows and subscribe to all of our shows on the OLAministries.com network. And if you see us in public, say hi. Do that. I would love it. Take it from me. I love you. <laughs>